will use these best fit equations to make predictions about other sample values. So we will use interpolation and extrapolation. Interpolation is when we use our equation of best fit to make predictions within the span of the given data set. Let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so here I've drawn another little scatter plot. So my scatter plot is in green. And remember, that means the green points are actual observed data points from reality, meaning I went out in the world and I actually observed these points. So for example, maybe I created some sort of test and I went up to each person who took the test. I gathered their age and I gathered how long it took them to finish a test. So as they get older, it looks like it took them less time to take the test. So these green points would be for any particular person, the person's age and their time it took them to take this test. The green points then are what I actually observed in reality. The red line then is this equation of best fit. It's a model. It's a predicting equation that would help me understand if I were to plug in an X value up here, for example, it might predict for me the time it would take that person to take the test. So we could be doing interpolation or we could be doing extrapolation when we are talking about making predictions. Interpolation means we're asking questions and making predictions within the span of the data that was actually observed. So notice the highest X value that was actually observed in reality is about here, and the lowest X value that was actually observed in reality is here. And it looks like the lowest Y value observed in reality is here, and the highest Y value is here. So that kind of creates this little box highest and lowest that traps it all in. Anytime I am making predictions using this uh, prediction equation within this set of x's and this set of y's, anytime I'm using that equation to make predictions in there, that is interpolation. But if I go beyond those X's and Y's and I ask to make predictions about reality outside of that span of observed data, that's when I'm doing extrapolation. So if I were to go up here and say, what time do we expect it to take for a person of this age? That would be extrapolation. I'm going beyond the observed reality and asking to extrapolate the equation line of best fit to extrapolate what would happen beyond observed data.